Hey there. So, one of the biggest questions I get about my time here in Antarctica is, what do I do down here? And that's a very fair question. A lot of people assume that I do science or research, which is also a very good assumption, considering that all the stations here on the continent are here for the purpose of science and for research. But the thing is, these American stations, especially McMurdo, which gets up to like 800 to 1,000 people during the summer, um, only about 20% of the people down here are actually scientists. Everybody else are the people that are running the place and like making sure everything keeps going as it should. So we have everything from cooks to plumbers to electricians, heavy equipment operators, people running an airfield, um, doctors. Heck, during the summer we even have a full-time person here cutting hair because you need those kind of services. So I guess the next question then is, what do I do here? Well, long story short, I work with fuel. Um, basically, what that means is anytime there is movement of fuel, whether that be from a tank to another tank, a tank to a vehicle, to an airplane, to a generator, or anything like that, my department's involved. Now, my official job title is a fuels operator, but down here there's a lot of slang and we just go by fuelie. So overall, we have a ton of different tasks that we do, which is really cool and keeps the job super interesting. But the thing is, obviously because I am working, I am not filming, which means I don't really have any footage uh, to show you. I'm actually on my lunch break right now, which is why I'm able to do this video around where I otherwise work. But yeah, there's a ton of different stuff, so, so let's go. So like I said, we have a lot of different jobs and tasks that we do. And since I'm here right now, I figure it's appropriate to first talk about uh, the airfield. So as you can see over here, over there we've got a bunch of airplanes. And here we've got a bunch of tanks. And those are all full with fuel. And basically, when we are tasked to be out here, we are the ones that are filling up those airplanes. Um, those big ones you see there, those are LC-130s. Those are going to all kinds of different places, whether that be the South Pole, or Waste Divide or some of the other larger field camps. And then we also have KBA, which is these fixed wing planes run by Ken Bork Air, it's a Canadian company. And they, they have the Twin Otters and Basslers and those are a bit smaller. But yeah, basically one of our jobs is being out here on the pits, which means filling airplanes. So one of the biggest perks of this job, and probably my favorite aspect of it, is that we actually get the opportunity as fuelies to travel a little bit around the continent. Now, if you're following me on Instagram, which you should, so if you're not, link up here, um, then you would have seen that I relatively recently to filming this video got the chance to go to Marble Point, which is a field camp located at the entrance of the Dry Valleys, which is one of the most important research areas that we have here around McMurdo and the only way to access those different field camps in there is through helicopter. So Marble Point basically is a gas station for these helicopters. So we get to spend two week rotations going there and fueling halos and doing a bunch of other little odd jobs around this camp. But you just get to meet the pilots, go on some pretty amazing hikes and do all kinds of really cool stuff. Another really cool perk of this job is that we get the chance to do maintenance on fuel caches. Now, all around the continent, we basically have these fuel caches that are located in strategic locations in case an airplane or anything else needs to make an emergency landing because they ran out of fuel or some other issue, and this gives them a place to then refuel. The thing is, this fuel lives in drums all around the continent, and we need to make sure that everything is good with them and that the fuel itself is still aviation quality and nothing contaminated them or anything like that. So every year we go out and we check all these caches to make sure that they're still doing all right. I personally got the chance to go to Odell Glacier just a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago at this point, where we got to fly in a small twin otter all around and into the mountains and land on this glacier and basically do maintenance on this fuel cache. So yeah, huge perk is the ability to travel with our job around the continent of Antarctica and get to see a bit more than just McMurdo or the surrounding area. 
which is pretty awesome and I feel super lucky for that. But there's also plenty of stuff that we do around town, special projects and other stuff, and let's talk about that now. <laughs> So when we aren't traveling around and doing amazing, crazy, really cool things, we are actually working here in town at McMurdo and we are doing all kinds of other daily tasking. The thing is though, there's so many different things that we do. It always keeps it interesting and it means you usually get to do something different every day, which is just keeps the job fresh and fun. Now, some of the examples of that include uh, fuel transfers. So one of the most important transfers that we consistently do is transferring fuel to our power plant. On top of that, we'll transfer fuel down to the helo pad, to the tanks that are down there, and into other various tanks like the galley tank, or like I mentioned earlier, out to Willie Field out here. So we have all kinds of different transfers that we'll do, and that's a pretty like weekly type thing. Um, another task that we have is we have these mobile delivery vehicles, like Delta Liz here. So overall, we have three mobile delivery vehicles, Liz being one of them. And what we'll do is we will fill up this big tank with fuel and then take it to wherever fuel is needed. Another thing that we'll do is drum orders. So for example, if the field camp decides that they need some fuel drums, then we will make sure those fuel drums are properly filled, labeled, stored, and put in the right place so that they are transported to the right location. And I guess overall, it's just maintenance and oversight of the entire fuel system here at McMurdo. In addition to all the routine stuff that we do around town, we also have a few one-off projects that we do, some of them being unique to each individual season and some of them happening every season. Uh, one of the huge projects that is an undertaking at the beginning and end of every season is laying and then picking up the hose line to Willie Field. So that is where we are right now is the Williams Airfield, which is where all the skied aircraft take off from. And from where you, what you saw earlier in this video, you saw all those tanks that are actually located over there. The thing is, way over there, that's where McMurdo is. And that's where our big bulk tanks are. So we need to get fuel out here all the time so that the airplanes can fill up. So how we do that is, right here, you can see we have this pipeline that we lay and it follows all those flags and eventually it goes all the way to McMurdo. So that is our hose lay project and every year we have to lay it. And then on top of these every season projects that we do like hose lay, we also have projects that happen maybe just once or every few years. For example, tank cleaning is a big one that's happening this year. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's an idea of some of the special projects that we do. So one other interesting thing that we do is we actually deal with various traverses. So a lot of these field camps or various places such as South Pole need to have fuel obviously to operate just like we do here. And the easiest and cheapest way to do so is often to physically drive it across the ice to that location. So one of our jobs then as fuelies is to fill those containers that will then be taken to those locations to be filled up. Long story short, that's what fuelies do here at McMurdo. <laughs> um, as you can tell, it's a pretty amazing job. I personally love it. I get to work with the most amazing people. I get to drive some incredibly cool equipment and some really awesome vehicles. And I get to see the continent. And yeah, it's just, it's really just an amazing gig and I'm loving this season so much. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, uh, you know what to do, do the things, the liking, the subscribing, the commenting. Um, I hope it gave you some good insight into what I actually do down here because it turns out it's kind of hard to explain sometimes, um, but this maybe helped explain it a bit better. But yeah, um, it is about time for me to get back to work, so I gotta get going, but I will see you next time.